In this short video, you are going to learn about Lillian and Frank Gilbreth, who were early advocates of Frederick Taylor's scientific management theory and pioneers of motion studies. But they are perhaps best known as the mother and father in the classic movie Cheaper by the Dozen. Not the one with Steve Martin and Ashton Kutcher, but rather the one originally produced in 1950. Frank Gilbreth discovered his vocation when, as a young brick building contractor, he sought ways to make bricklaying his first trade faster and easier. This grew into a collaboration with his eventual spouse, Lillian Muller Gilbreth, that studied the work habits of manufacturing and clerical employees in all sorts of industries to find ways to increase output and make their jobs easier. He and Lillian founded a management consulting firm, Gilbreth Incorporated, focusing on such endeavors. In the following video, we are going to see the original stop-motion images captured by Frank and Lillian, followed by their rearrangements of the bricklaying process to make it more efficient. The previous video showed you how the Gilberts went about both studying initial work and then how they could rearrange it to make it more efficient. One of the most lasting aspects of Gilbreth was the fact that he was the first to propose that a surgical nurse could serve as a, what he called, caddy, Gilbreth's term, to the surgeon. The caddy would hand surgical instruments to the surgeon as they were called for, making it more efficient and making physicians less likely to conduct errors and mistakes and increase the time that surgeries actually took so that the patient was not under anesthesia as long. Gilbreth also devised the standard techniques used by armies around the world to teach recruits how to rapidly disassemble and reassemble their weapons even when they were blindfolded in total darkness. The lasting legacy of the Gilbreth is clearly seen in both the medical trade and surgeries today and in the U.S. military and militaries around the world. 